Just so you guys know, the story I'm about to tell is like a little bit gory, um, and I will be showing some pictures of that. So if you guys um, aren't into that or it grosses you out too much, I promise it's not too bad. Um, but if you guys are sensitive to that type of thing, I just wanted to put a little warning um, before this video just so you guys were aware of that. Hi everybody, it's Emmy Bree, and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down low, and also make sure to turn on those little bell notifications. I upload videos every week. Wednesday and Sunday so look forward to those uploads so today I thought I would address something that has gone on in my life um, I've gotten a lot of questions about what happened to my leg I'm just kind of explaining what happened because it is so weird this is like one of those stories that just like just like how the hell how did what like how how did you do that personal vendetta against salsa now so i'm gonna set this story up because this is a very important part the incident happened wednesday night and so tuesday night i went grocery shopping i picked up all my goods I needed. I picked up some chips and salsa to treat myself because that sounded really good. I was super excited, got my cantina thin chips. I was hyped for the salsa and chips. So I am, you know, putting away groceries, blah, blah, blah. And I put it up probably on the third cabinet in. Um, and I just kind of, it's hanging off just like a little bit, like nothing to be super concerned about. It's got some weight to it. So I'm like, eh. It'll be all right. <laughs> Little did I know. So I have this sausage jar. It's chilling. And I was told that it was going to fall down. And I was like, no, no, no. It's totally fine. Like, you're good. Like, I'll be fine. Like, I'll just be cautious of it. We're good. Wednesday. And I was supposed to work at 5 o'clock. Like, you know what? I really want to treat myself some, to some ice cream right now. Right, Mr. Pickles? He's gonna sit right there. I really wanted ice cream, and if you guys are familiar with Halo Top ice creams, they've got like the whole, like, whole entire container of ice cream is like 280 calories, so it's like a guilt-free ice cream. Um, and I love mint chocolate chip. So I really love their mint chocolate chip ice cream, but there's like no chocolate chips in that. Halo, if you're seeing this, you gotta put more chocolate chips in there. There's like one chocolate chip in like a whole bowl and the chocolate chips were right next to the salsa container so i'm standing like this right here is my oven the cabinet is to my left hand side where i had the chocolate chips and the salsa so i reach for the chocolate chips you know i'm like doo -doo 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 -doo, grab the chocolate chips turn around here and as soon as that happened i heard a very loud smash and i just instantly felt just like wetness on like the left hand side of my body and a really intense burning sensation on like my thigh and i was wearing shorts and like a sweatshirt and like you know i was getting ready for work basically just wanted to have like a treat um and this happened so my shift was at five o'clock this happened around like 4 20 <laughs> 4 20 blaze it smoke weed every day but at first it's like an instant i'm like what the fuck was that and i turn over and i am just doused in salsa except for the first thing i said was wow that didn't get in my hair because <laughs> it somehow did not get in my hair i do not know how it was like on my face on my shoulders everywhere else um but it bypassed my hair i'm instantly feeling a burning sensation i look down at my thigh and i can't tell what's salsa i can't tell what's blood it's just like a mess on my thigh and i knew that i got cut but i didn't know the severity of it i just kind of was like oh shit <laughs> like that's my initial reaction I was like fuck fuck because this jar from the third shelf smashed down that was really loud and dramatic smashed down on the counter and just completely psh, and shattered and it sent glass into my thigh oh thank god clay was there because he ended up cleaning up the salsa and helping me sort of clean up my injury so i like laid down on the floor and i applied a bunch of pressure to the area that i could like kind of tell that was the source of the bleeding but yeah so i'm just like in shock kind of just like what the fuck but it's also hilarious so i'm laughing like who the hell gets physically assaulted by a salsa jar wet rags i try to like kind of clean the salsa so i can kind of like inspect like what's going on and i finally cleaned it up and i noticed that i have like a probably like two and a half to three inch um opened like gash and i was like my first thought was like i need butterfly bandages stat like i need to put this together and 
get it whatever <laughs> call my dad and let him know like what's going on um and i sent him pictures and like all that stuff and i was like kind of going back and forth whether i should go to urgent care or i should just like bandage it up call it a day rub some dirt in it and put butterfly bandages on it but they just were not it wasn't happening it was like the sea was parted and there was no getting it back together like it was two separate sides of the continent so i'm sitting on the floor and i'm like oh shit i was supposed to work so i instantly called up my boss Corey, and i was like Corey, i'm on the floor there was a salsa incident i'm covered in blood and salsa i don't know what to do like blah blah and he was like oh my god he's like do not worry about it and he's like do you want me to stay on the phone with you like so he ended up covering my shift because there's no way i was gonna be able to get dressed and make it over there i'd be like waddling around everywhere with like blood dripping down my legs yeah so i ended up going to urgent care and um so the nurse came in and he was super nice he was he we um did like a soak and rinsed it all out and stuff like that because there was still some salsa in there and let me tell you guys jalapenos and any other spicy stuff that's in salsa it burns do not put salsa in any type of cut or wound it was not a fun feeling <laughs> so um they're scrubbing out whatever um and then the doctor came in and she was talking to me and she's like, yeah, we really want, just want to do stitches, like blah, blah, blah. And I have a lot of apprehension when it comes to getting stitches. I, um, back in the day, I ripped my ankle open when I was a kid and I got stitches and one, they were super painful and two, um, I got really bad scarring from it. I have like huge holes where you can like see and it's on my ankle, so it's not a big deal. But this is like on my thigh and it's on my good thigh. I would rather not have stitches, like blah, blah, blah. Is there any way we could do like, you know, super glue or serious strips or like something like an alternative? And she's like, yeah, if you can take it easy and like really baby it, we can do serious strips and super glue and just try to see if that will close it. Um, and it was probably open, like probably around that much. You guys will see in the photos. We, um, applied the super glue around the whole thing and it was like dripping everywhere it's a really like liquidy super glue and then she took these series strips and you guys don't know what series strips are they're like a really intense like butterfly bandage so basically what they do is along with adhesive they can hold skin taut so it kind of pulls the skin together so it can heal on its own opposed to stitches like six series strips i think i'll have to look back at the pictures so yeah so she put the series strips on and then i have a huge ace bandage that she wrapped around my leg so i was given instructions to keep it wrapped all the time only let it air out one for one hour a day and then so she sent me home blah 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 for the next few days it was kind of uncomfortable and sore um the series strips actually hurt like more than the cut um the series strips were again like five four or five inches long um and they were just pulling on my skin so hard that i started to kind of get some bruising um it was just really uncomfortable and i was starting to swell just a little bit um so i kept it wrapped and i kept it clean and all that stuff and then i started class so a few days like four days later i was supposed to keep the ace bandage on for five days so the first day i took it off i was like oh it's fine like i i put like a nice big bandage over it like all that stuff and i was like wow this is going great we're doing good this is perfect and i wore leggings and i ran late to class my ace bandage on i was wearing tighter pants than i should have and i was running which is three things it was like a triple whammy that i should not have been doing and my series strips ripped off part of my skin so seri the series strips were attached with super glue so they are very 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 stuck on there i had strict rules not to like tamper with them or do anything with them just let them fall off naturally but they kind of took off my skin a little bit <laughs> So I am on the 10th day of my whole ordeal with the salsa jar. Um, my actual incision is healing pretty well. The series strips are starting to come off on the edges. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what happened to my leg because you guys saw in some of my previous videos me mentioning kind of what happened and also... Um, you know i had like the, the ace bandage in my other video so yeah i just wanted to quickly address what the heck happened to me guys if you guys had questions about my leg this video answered all of your questions um if you guys do have any other questions that you guys have about how my leg happened i don't even know 
it's I, I, even now i'm just like how the heck like what a weird situation so yeah i'm definitely not eating chips and salsa for a hot minute um a little traumatized <laughs> definitely learned to be more careful with putting away stuff in my pantry gonna be a lot more mindful of that type of thing but i hope you guys like this video and if you guys did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also leave any comments if you guys have any for me um also i want you guys to comment down below if you guys have had any similar experiences maybe not with salsa maybe it was with jelly maybe it was with a pasta sauce who knows if you guys want to let me know your freak kitchen accidents if you guys have any um leave your comments down below so thank you guys so much love you all so much and i will see you guys next time